Hi, I'm Jay Diamond. I help stuck singles find their soulmate and struggling couples get juicy and reconnected again in their relationship. My clients have the best sex of their life, guaranteed. And um, yeah, they, my clients just kind of snatch their sexy back and run with it. So it's my last day here in San Diego. So of course, hi Averna. Of course I wanted to come to the beach. Um, I just went and had breakfast at a really nice place. Got some avocado and eggs on toast this morning, which was so good. And I just had to bring you by the ocean. So I'm in Ocean Beach right now. I was staying in La Jolla and then I was staying in Pacific Beach. Now I'm in Ocean Beach and I really like it here. It's a little bit more chill in Ocean Beach. Like at the weekends, it gets kind of crazy, I'm told, but um, it's more chill here. I like it. Yeah, I could definitely come back here for sure, for sure. So I wanted to talk to you about increasing pleasure and decreasing conflict. We have three events coming up in London over the next three Thursdays. So I'll put the link um, above here. I'm actually wondering if I can put a link in the comments. Let me see. Yes, so I've just put a link in the comments as well because we have some really exciting... Uh, classes coming up so some of you might have been to our introduction to pleasure and intimacy full day event and there's four teachers there's me Eugenia Sia and Luke and we're all working together we've got an amazing retreat coming up at the end of June that you really if you're really ready to have the best sex of your life and really really like make your intimacy juicy hi Eugenia hi Tom if you're really ready to make your life amazing then you really want to come because here's the thing your future you relies on you now the decisions that you make now you know your future is relying on you oh all right a bunch of sad people leaving san diego so what I found as a sex and intimacy coach is that people, and I've said this to you over and over again, people generally, generally come to me when there's a big problem, like when things have got so bad that they're kind of desperate. Don't leave it that late. <laughs> it's like, would you won't like, you wouldn't do this with your health. I mean, lots of people do, but it's not ideal, is it? That you only start to eat healthy when you have a severe health problem like when your relationship's in trouble or your marriage is in trouble or you've been eternally single or you know that sex isn't working for you there's something that you're missing then only then do you go and and look at what's available the reality is when it comes to sex in our relationships there's a whole spectrum of amazing you know um, techniques and skills and intimacy that's available to us but most of us don't bother to look and we're we're under so much social conditioning when it comes to relationships, what relationships should be, what the man should do, what the woman should do. We're kind of really stuck in these gender roles and if we don't fit these gender roles a thousand percent, you know, it's going to be a problem. And because of, you know, the conditioning that we have around uh, our society and, and the religious impact that's been had, it, it's really troublesome sometimes to have just a grown-up conversation, grown-up loving conversation around sex. Like people are often happy to kind of do the nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and ooh, that's a bit naughty. But if you actually, <laughs> or they'll say like, you know, very crude things, but if you actually try and draw someone in a conversation that's loving, that's open, that's honest, that's mature, and asking, okay, what's available? What more can we do? How can we grow? People start to clam up, it's crazy. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, because it's time to open this conversation. You know, um, a little while ago, I was in a networking event and I, there was these two ladies and they said, you know, they were saying what they did and, and they said, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a sex and, a sex and relationship coach and I help people find their soulmate and, and um, deepen their intimate love relationships. Really, it's strengthening marriages at the end of the day. It's saving relationships, the work that I do. Um, because you can get to a point in your relationship where you 
you really love each other but something is just not working the, the communication's gone or the sex is gone and you love each other but you're living like brother and sister something needs to change you don't have to let it get to that point but generally <laughs> that's when they come to me and it, it can turn around especially when the couple are really committed to each other especially when they really love each other Anyway, so they were asking me what I do. I said, you know, I'm a sex and relationship coach. I help people have an orgasmic life, which is true. Well, one of the ladies went, ooh, that sounds good. And let me tell you, the other girl snapped her head. Woof. She put the snap, the smack down. And she said, you're married and you're a Christian. She was trying to shame her. Just for simply saying, ooh, an orgasmic life, that sounds good. Who do you think gave you the power to have orgasm? The Creator made you exactly as you are. The Creator gave you your capacity for orgasm, your capacity for pleasure, your capacity for connection, your capacity for love. But this woman was putting the smack down on her, straight up. And this is what happens all the time in, in, in overt or, you know, um, kind of more uh, covert ways. People police each other. Oh my God, this woman is screaming at a dog. Sorry. <laughs> so there are these ways that we feel shame about our body, shame about our sexual connection, shame about our sexual energy in so many different ways. And um, it really woke me up and it was good information for me that this is how some people are talking to each other. So she didn't even need to police herself, you know, her sister friend was there policing her already, telling her what she should and shouldn't do and that she shouldn't even think about having an orgasmic life. Now part of me understands, because there's so much dysfunction around sex in our society, whether we like it or not, and such a throwaway attitude uh, in some circles when it comes to sex, I, I understand that people are reserved when someone talks openly about sex. I, I you know, at times used to be the same, because I'm wondering where is this person coming from? Because, you know, sex is used to manipulate as well, has been, is, and continue to be. But that's not what I'm about. In fact, I'm very much about the opposite. And so, there's all these expectations and projections and ideas and beliefs that we just have to unwrap and unwrap and unwrap and unwrap so we can come to a more authentic place around sex and relationships. And when we do that, there's a huge freedom. And then the partners that you're picking are coming from your heart, not from your condition response, not from what you think you should do or you shouldn't do, but from an authentic spiritual place where you have a resonance with the person that you're with, with the person that you're choosing to have a sexual connection with. When you free yourself from all this social conditioning, such a wider expanse of orgasmic possibility happens. That's when the full body orgasm comes. That's when the multiple orgasms come. When we release ourselves and we release our mind and we release our body from tension and from stress and from all this conditioning and from shame and from the fear of judgment. And this affects us. This can still affect you even if you're an extremely promiscuous person, as in you won't have sex with anybody, everybody all the time doesn't mean you're not subject to social conditioning. It might just be that you've been conditioned to believe that the way that you can receive love is through sex only. And you don't know how to do it another way. So it's not about not having or having too much, it's about what's real for you. And then you can make a decision and your decision might be, well, this is how I want to do it. Does that make sense? Drop me a comment if I'm making any sense, if you understand what I'm saying. It takes a long time to be brave enough to really look at the stories. It's about the stories that we tell ourselves, the stories that we tell about men, the stories that we tell about women, the stories that we tell about being gay. You know, when I, um, the stories that we tell ourselves about the body that we're in and how good or not good that we feel in this body, you know, what that means about sex and relationships. We're telling ourselves a story all the time, so maybe we can tell ourselves a better story that's going to get us better results. And that's what these um, three classes are all about. We're going to go deep into shame. We're also going to go deep into desire and how the desire you're like admitting, really admitting like what you want in your life is what will draw the right partner to you. 
I'm going to do group healing. I don't know if you've been, you can go back through the videos on my page, Facebook, um, Ms. J Diamond, M-S, J-A-Y. Sometimes people just put the initial J. I'm like, that's not my name. Ms. M-S, J-A-Y Diamond. Oh, this guy. Um, and you'll go through my videos and you'll see that I've done some group live healings there um, and they're extremely powerful and I'm going to do a group healing specifically around sex because we carry in so much old junk beliefs, hurt from the past, hurt from our childhood, trauma, shame, anger all of these things we're carrying forward into our relationships with us we don't have to carry it, yeah? It is absolutely possible to heal. In fact, I'm build, I build my whole like life's work and the book that I've written and the healing that I do is, is based on the fundamental belief that you can heal and that you can grow and that you can elevate. You know, there's so much more available to us than we're told when it comes to sex and relationships. And I, and I want you to experience that and open to that and be part of it in a really safe, beautiful place, you know? So, I've put the link at the top of this video. Um, have a look. Like, there's, there's um, uh, a class on sexual awareness and releasing shame. There's classes on desire. There's classes where I'm doing healing work, deep healing work. So, there's three. And um, if you get, I mean, they're all, the early bird rate is ridiculously cheap, so you can get one ticket. But if you want to do all three, you'll get a little discount. If I was you, I'd do all three. And um, come and join us, you know, come and join us in London. And we'd be so happy to meet you. And also ask about our retreat that we've got coming up at the end of June, because that is a deep dive for people who are really ready to up level, you know. Your future depends on you. <laughs> and nobody else you know you want to save your you want to rescue your future right now you know if you want to rescue your future you've got to do it right now if you don't want the next three years to be like the last three years you've got to make the change and you've got to take action right now this isn't it's not about saying oh let's I'll just meditate in a good energy, that's really good. But you've actually got to take action on that as well. <laughs> you've got to do things, you've got to get the right information. And this is what the four of us have been doing for years and years and years, is educating ourselves, like releasing our own conditioning, healing. I've been a healer for 20 years. 20 years, you know. Showing my age. <laughs> and so you, you cannot not change you. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person, but you know I've learned a few things along the way, and I want to share them with you. So get your tickets. Um